Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, in Italian wine today, all the way from Sicily, uh, Castello Solicchiata. Um, and um, I've, got, I've got notes on the back. The wine Castello Sol Solicchiata is to be remembered as the first... Is it, I get my curts and my chus mixed up. If it's, if it's Solicchiata, uh, kick me twice down the stairs and call me an old grandmother. Uh, but Castello Solicchiata is to be remembered as the first Bordeaux blend in Italy, vinified with French method. In 1855, the Baron uh, Felice Spitaleri of Muglia planted Bordeaux grape varieties, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, in his feud called Solicchiata, just on the Vulcan Etna, on the classic black volcanic sand soil and on dry stone walls, blah, 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 blah. So I'm presuming this is a um, Bordeaux blend, so um, I'll dig into it and see where we get to. Well, it, when, as soon as I pulled the cork, there was this slight whiff of... Um, of volatility, but um, and I poured it out, and, and that was that was the thing that was dominating uh, the nose. But the more I swirled, the more other characteristics seemed to come out. It feels like there's a warm, dry, what I call skinniness. So as if some of those grape varieties had maybe started to shrivel a little bit on the vine, giving a little bit of uh, raisiny character. But behind it, there's this quite nice dark um, cherries and black currant, really, but really dark, dark cherries and black currants. It smells interesting rather than fine, but let's taste it. Well, it's funny, when you taste it, um, I was slightly concerned about that, des what I call the desiccated fruit and whether things might have gone a little bit jammy. Hasn't gone jammy. There is that little bit of slightly overripe, slightly roasted fruit, but um, it, I mean, when you've got mellow in a, in a warmish climate, it, it is, that's what happens to it. But it's got some of the leafy edge, which may be Cabernet Franc, a um, bit of tar in there, and there's freshness, um, and it doesn't feel like uh, the, the fruit flavours have gone into that jammy spectrum. It's not great wine, uh, it's um, decent wine, one of those that you'd sit and you'd proffer your glass for a, a, a refill, but uh, maybe not a, a second time. So good rather than great, and um, yeah, one day I'll learn how to pronounce my Italian. Hey, see you soon.